Hi, my name is Jamela Mustafa, and I'm currently Miss Teen Essence USA 2011-2012. How I began this journey was actually around this time in July and August of last year. And my mother told me about this pageant. And what was interesting about this pageant is that there were workshops attached to it called Being Beautiful is Being Me, Black Butterfly Enterprise, which was ran by Ms. D. Cephas. And I remember attending those workshops and I learned so much about my African American history, about being a poised young lady, to my finances, to my education. And I just remember me us meeting almost every other Saturday. And it was hot, it was summertime, I went to have fun. But that, I think that's where it really grasped and it really got to me. And I remember we had our actual pageant on October the 10th. And I didn't really have a lot of experience. I knew how to speak. I knew how to walk. And I had a lot of energy. But as far as the whole, just like any other sport, there's a lot of preparation. There's people who've been doing it for years, so they feel confident. They, they kind of know the ropes. They have little lingo that they might use. I didn't know anything. But I was lucky because the other girls that were competing with me were just like me. They were from the state of Delaware. They didn't really have experience. So it was kind of like everybody was the same boat. I was actually late to the pageant, like I'm late to everything else. <laughs> I have been trying to work on it, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> and um, I was actually about an hour late, and I remember I came, as I dropped my stuff off and I had my interview. It was a lot of people that I recognized from the community who were interviewing me. My father is um, Rashid Mustafa, who is actually the superintendent of Parks and Recreation. So everybody in the state of Wilmington, the state of Delaware, knows my father. And a lot of them recognized me. So they asked me a lot of questions about my community that I could actually answer. Um, growing up, I, uh, I was an actress, where I still am. I landed a TV show role my sophomore year and my freshman year I worked for the Philadelphia Eagles Kids Club which was on Fox and I remember even though the summers I was still working here at Hicks I was a summer counselor my father always took me around to different things I growing up everybody said you know I thought you were gonna be a, the biggest time boy. my first love was karate I was a little I was a little boy basically I didn't care much about my hair you know I, I was very competitive anything with sports I made sure I was involved in and once you know the interview they really felt my, my energy and I, I pulled out the title um, it was very hard getting sponsorship at first I remember going around to different types of organizations in the city of Wilmington and I said you know I really want to do this pageant I'm looking for sponsorship and I actually got a, a few, I got a, I got a couple help, Nor Enterprise by Norman Oliver who really helped support me. That's like, that's like family to me. And once I won the state title, I was off. I remember doing a lot of things, working with Leonard Young. He's doing a lot for the community with Black, Delaware Black Online and the Delaware Black Awards. I remember me and Melanie Haynes, who was the Miss, I was a teen, she was a Miss, who would go around speaking at a lot of different engagements. And it was, it was really enjoyable. And I remember once again, for the national title, we had to be on phone conferences. We had to do this and that and prepare. And I was the least, I just, my head wasn't there. It wasn't all the way there. I wasn't so into the, I love doing the um, speaking engagements and going different places and meeting different people. But as far as the actual getting prepared for the pageant and buying this, because the pageants is probably one of the most expensive things that you can engage in. And those girls for national spent thousand dollars on a dress. I used my dress that I wore to prom. It was a hundred and sixty dollars and I loved it. I used a bathing suit that I got from Sims. It was on sale for maybe thirty dollars and I used the interview outfit. I wore an all black I wore a black shirt with a nice black pencil skirt with a hot pink blazer just to kind of set it apart and I had already had the rest of the outfit and my blazer cost about twenty nine ninety nine from H and M. And that was, oh, and uh, then I and you needed a cocktail dress. And I bought the cocktail dress from Forever 21 a long time ago, even before I knew it. And that cost me $30. So, and it was funny because on the actual pageant day, I won best swimsuit, I won best gown, and I won best interview.